What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how the Razer Sabertooth makes it easy to game with both the controller and the mouse at the same time. There are three additional extra mappable buttons per hand on the Sabertooth, two on the bottom and one next to the bumpers. I'm playing Borderlands 2 and for my extra controls I use the left trigger to crouch, the extra bottom switches to jump, and the extra bumper to reload. In addition to what I use for my mouse bindings, with the two side buttons as melee and grenade, I have instant access to any command I need. I've always liked moving around with the left thumbstick a lot better than using the WASD keyboard keys. It's a lot more comfortable and precise, especially for stealth games or vehicle controls. Also, I've liked mouse aiming better than aiming with the right thumbstick. The Razer Sabertooth makes it possible to play with the best of both worlds. The game controls spread out well enough over two hands. The Sabertooth has the most available Twitch controls per hand than any controller that exists. I feel that this method of gaming is a better solution than using a standard controller with an MMO mouse with extra buttons, then you'll have too many Twitch controls devoted to your right hand. It's also more casual than using an Astromo keypad for your left hand. I'll try to use this technique with competitive multiplayer games like Battlefield or Call of Duty, and see whether this is a viable alternative to conventional mouse and keyboard PC gaming controls. Besides the Razer Hydra, and that was only for a few games, PC gaming very rarely ventures outside a mouse and keyboard or a regular controller. Although still very unrefined, the Xbox, PlayStation, and Wii consoles are all experimenting with incorporating different and unconventional methods of gaming. I hope that this method gives some diversity to control options for PC gaming. I'm sure people have tested this casually before, but never have we had a peripheral like the Sabertooth that gives us so many available buttons that we have access to all the Twitch commands we need. If this style of gaming catches on and companies start making one-handed controllers like a better Razer Hydra, specifically for this purpose, remember, you saw it here first. In my next controller mouse video, I'll show more in detail how I navigate the bumpers on the controllers. There really isn't much to see in terms of me using the bottom switches because the actuation distance is so quick. Keep an eye out for my full review of the Razer Sabertooth controller. For now, enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you next video.